Well, hello everybody. It's Monday. It's time to shave. What we're going to shave with today is three products, three of the main products really, uh, when you're doing wet shaving from one company. And that company is Wilkinson Sword. That's right. If you saw, I did a, a video a while back where I used this Wilkinson Sword razor, which is kind of the really cheap plastic model. It's got metal inside. And I decided, Martin over in the UK sent me this Wilkinson Sword soap. And I decided, I'm going to try using this. And I want to use Wilkinson Sword blades because he always also sent me these. But I didn't want to use this razor again. I wanted to see what the... Uh, People were telling me there was another razor. There was another Wilkinson sword, a secret Wilkinson sword, not really secret. So I looked, and yes, there is. It was this one right here, the metal, the all metal Wilkinson sword, only $14 on Amazon, so pretty cheap. And here it is. Yes, I already taken a look at it. Look at it glint in the sun, isn't that beautiful? So anyway, this is, here it is compared to its plastic, you know, cousin, brother, whatever you'd like to say. So it's a, it's a very long handle. It's heavier because it's all metal. And the head is a little bit smaller and much more like a traditional uh, safety razor, sort of like the Gillette. This is the Gillette 1959 Fat Boy, and it's got a very similar design. It's kind of like... Uh, that's where they took their, their inspiration from, was vintage Gillette. So anyway, I'm going to try shaving with all these products today, and I have not done so. Here's the thing I like about this razor. First of all, it's only 14 bucks. Second of all, it's, it's got a good heavy weight to it. You know, it feels good. And it's a butterfly razor, which is nice when you don't want to have to, you know, unscrew and have three pieces or two pieces or whatever. So I'm going to try putting this Wilkinson sword blade in. And to be honest, I, I don't go back and watch my own videos, so I don't remember what I thought about the, uh, the Wilkinson sword last time. So it's going to be sort of a new experience because uh, I have a terrible memory and, you know, I don't want to go back and watch myself. It's kind of it's kind of weird. Honey, what are you doing in there? I'm watching myself shave. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so I took a shower and did my hair. I need a haircut. I never thought I'd say that after that... Uh, that crew cut I got, or that, that, you know, buzz cut I got back in May. But I do need another haircut because it's getting out of control. Now, what I'm going to use to lather with this Wilkinson sword uh, shaving soap, let's take a look at it. It's a screw top. And there it is. It's a hard shaving soap, so it's not a cream. Hello, Mr. Sword. And I'm gonna, uh, I looked on their website, and they did list that they have brushes, but when I clicked on the link, it said, whoops, something went wrong. So I don't know if they still have brushes available, but I'm going to use the West Coast uh, Blue Raspberry, the Jolly Rancher, whatever you want to call it, and uh, put some more water on my face. I'm going to soak the brush. Well, you don't really have to soak a, a synthetic brush. That's what this is, a synthetic from West Coast Shaving, and I'm going to start lathering. Now... I don't use a bowl, so I just grab as much as I need here. Make it, it's okay to make a little mess. You can have some uh, some soap fall down into the sink. Just, you know, don't do it like, you know, in the kitchen or anything. Or don't do it at, at dinner with the, the in-laws. Don't do that. But here, when you're all by yourself, you can make a little mess when you're shaving, okay? All right. I don't know how much to put on exactly, but I'm going to do that. If I need to put more, I will in a minute. I'm not going to be precious with it. Thanks again, Martin, over there in the UK for sending that to me. Uh, I understand this is, you know, Wilkinson Sword is probably more well-known and, and used in the UK and abroad than it is here in the States. I could be wrong. All right. Now, the scent, first of all, is a very clean, soapy, kind of like traditional barbershop scent. And boy, it's lathering really well. I have not used this stuff before, and it's doing a good job. I love face lathering. It's just one less thing to worry about. I know there are many, many men, wet shavers, that love their, uh, their bowls and their scuttles and the ones where you can pour hot water into and that have ridges and all that stuff. But uh, me being kind of a, a, a simple, not a simpleton, but kind of a simple guy and uh, kind of a lazy guy sometimes. It's one less thing that I have to worry about. Okay. Very good, very smooth, very rich lather, very easy to lather. Now let's see. This is nice because it's got such a long handle on it. So if you're new to shaving with a safety razor, uh, 
you'll find ones with different handle weights, different handle sizes, designs. This one's got like a, a, a ridged knurling around it, so it's not slippery, so that's nice. It feels like this is not an adjustable razor, so I can't do anything about its aggressiveness or its mildness, but it seems to be doing all right. It feels fairly mild, like um, not really, really mild and not aggressive. So it's like a, it seems to be maybe a happy medium. So hopefully it will shave well. Got to get that angle right. But um, if you watched my video from Friday, I did survive the double birthday party. I was rewarded at the end with some scotch and some time in front of the one of the boob tubes. So yeah, it went off without a hitch. No kids got hurt on the water slide. I did not partake in the water slide myself because I'm, it wasn't my favorite. Of the bouncy houses we've had before, the one we got, it wasn't that interesting. I like the ones that aren't water slides. I like the ones that you go inside, listen to me, the 49 year old man is now reviewing bouncy houses. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Anyway, I didn't go on, okay? But the kids had a great time. We had two groups of kids come over with a couple hours in between. So we were able to reset and clean, get the second. My wife, who is a saint, made two cakes for our beloved little boy. So, no, don't worry. We're not, we're not spoiling him. That's what grandparents are for. This thing seems to be, this is a good, for $14, and I've seen the Vanderhagens in, uh, in my local grocery store. I haven't used one of those yet. Um, but this one seems to be a little bit better made. It's bigger, um, this is, and it's cheaper. The Vanderhagen uh, safety razors I see in my local grocery store are like $20, or in the Target, which is like, you know, the big box store. Like twenty dollars. This thing was fourteen on Amazon, and I like it. I like it. It's good. I haven't felt my face yet to see how well it's shaving, but I like the way it feels as I'm shaving. Yeah. So I couldn't find a Wilkinson brush. Maybe they have some out there. Uh, I <laughs> I didn't look that hard. I didn't look that. I I got I got this. I got that special. That's got to count for something, right? All right. More warm water on the face. Yeah, it's doing a fine job. Still got uh, some some work to go, but no nicks, no cuts. Let's lather up again. No, we're, I'm looking around. I got like 15 things around here. And, uh, here's the second pass. Yeah, it's got a good, the, the soap is good. It's got a good clean scent. It's that solid puck style. And it's not hard at all to lather. So it's good. A good workman's lather, you know? Nothing fancy. I, when I was doing my uh, little bit of research uh, about Wilkinson Sword, they started off as a gun-making company in the 1700s. Why do they call themselves Wilkinson Sword? I don't know, gun makers. Next week, I'll shave with a Wilkinson rifle. No, this is not bad. Not bad soul. Sorry. <laughs> if I slip into fake British accents from time to time, please forgive me. I'm trying to keep myself interested, you know? I'm trying to keep myself interested in myself. <laughs> I've got a few more... Um, Things down in here in my shave drawer. I did have a request to uh, to, to uh, show off my shave den, as they call it, but I don't really have a shave den. I have a medicine cabinet and then a drawer, and then a third drawer where I put stuff that I want to review. You know, so I keep that separate. The bottom drawer is where I have stuff that is tried and true. I've used it. I've made videos with it. I like it, and I keep it for. Uh, sort of like to choose from, you know? So, I mean, I could show you that if you want to see it. I mean, not on this video, but I could show you that. It's not like some guys on uh, YouTube have some beautiful, not only do they have beautiful collections, but they have them displayed beautifully, you know, like they have shelving built, but uh, this, is, this is all I got. You're looking at it. That's my shaved in right there. 
a towel in a drawer in a medicine cabinet, which is where my phone is. This is what I film on a iPhone. I just have it leaning against, I don't have, even have like a mount, I don't have a suction cup. It's leaning against my deodorant inside the medicine cabinet, which sometimes but the weight of the phone slides out and I have to make sure. It's very high tech, very high tech. I hope you all appreciate the, the production value that goes into this. As you can tell from the light constantly changing, uh, it's been a little bit of a cloudy day today. I think that the, finally the, the heat wave here in Central Texas is going to start letting up. And it's not going to be 100 degrees every single day like it has been almost all summer. It's only 94 today, so there you go. Get my parka out. Gotta go put on my jumper. <laughs> so I told you. I told you I was going to do another bad British accent. Got to put on my jumper. It's in the boot. <laughs> okay, that's enough. <laughs> Gosh. Sometimes I even annoy myself. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit more water on the brush and go for the third pass. Now, I did get one little nick there. One little nick. I got some, speaking of nicks, I got some good advice on using my alum block, my new alum block, which I may or may not use after this one, depending. If that nick is still uh, nicked, if it stays nicked, I'll uh, give it a try. Look at this. I mean, there is so much left in here. I could go, I'm sure, a whole other pass. Not that I'm going to, but I could. It's great. It's good. Good shaving soap. Thank you, Wilkinson. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Wilkinson Sword. I am not getting paid by Wilkinson Sword, believe me. Uh, I have been... Right next to me, I've still got the one blade that I'm using. I used it, uh, I've used it three times now. So I'll continue to use that and then put the video up on Friday with my thoughts, opinions, likes, dislikes, all that stuff. So that'll be coming up on Friday. So stay tuned for that. I hope this razor takes care of my problem areas. <laughs> Cause I always like it like the Parker 99R, which actually this is, is very similar to like lengthwise and the handle. It's, I can't pull that out, it's behind some other stuff, but it looks similar to this. Except with that one has a ball end and this one's got kind of a flat end. But that Parker 99R is great. It's giving you a really good shave, really close shave without much effort. But it's fairly aggressive, and this one is not as aggressive, so I'm hoping I'll get something close. But I mean, you can't go wrong, $14, that's like pretty much anybody's price range, right? And I think they're readily available almost everywhere. Here comes the sun again. Doo -doo -doo -doo. See, more and more people have found my uh, secret Beatles uh, music channel. If you have found it, keep it to yourself, it's a secret, just us. I like my old mustache. <laughs> I'm gonna go across. <laughs> Why that made me laugh? <laughs> I'm gonna go across. <laughs> oh, I think I'm a little punchy today. I've got kind of a headache, so please forgive me. Please forgive me. Sometimes I get a little silly. Ah, ooh, hey. You know, this, this soap is very, it's left a nice slickness to my skin, which I think is good to mention because people often ask me, you know, is it slick? And it's, it's left a very nice slickness, which helps you shave when you shave like this. I'm gonna just touch up a couple spots that I might feel. It did a pretty good job in my little, you know, side of the jaw areas and everything. Right under here. I, I this is a good, this is a good razor. This is a very good razor. And if you've never uh, tried a safety razor, this is a good one. Good one to start with. It's cheap. It seems to be well made. It's made in China. 
the the Wilkinson sword blades that come with it because it does come with five blades. So you get this and five blades for fourteen bucks. These blades uh, were the ones that Martin sent to me, so it's a different package. But the blades are made in Germany. This thing's made in China, and that was made in Texas. All right, cold water. Oh, I feel like when I do that, I always feel, and I got a little bit right there. I just want to get rid of. And if there's a little bit of slickness left over from the soap you're using, you can do this without fear of getting, you know, too much razor burn or something. But yeah, this is a, I'd say this is a medium mild razor. It's not too mild, and it's certainly not aggressive. All right, let me rinse off one more time. Yeah, you get the double rinse today. It's a, it's a banner day here. The Wilkinson sword shave. All right, I'm not gonna use the alum. I don't feel like I need it today. I think I'll, uh, I'll put a rule on myself where I only use the alum if I have, you know, two or more nicks on my face. Maybe three, you know. But uh, that nick seemed to have stopped on its own. Or it's so small it's barely even noticeable, so I'm not going to use it. Oh, I forgot to... They don't have aftershave. William, Wil, Williamson. Wilkinson Sword doesn't have aftershave, so what's my go-to aftershave? Everybody, say it with me. Osage Rub. I love this stuff. It's so good. If you haven't had a chance, and you have a chance, give it a try. I think it's unique. It's unique in all the world. It only stings a little bit. And that didn't sting at all. You can tell it was a, a milder shave if it doesn't really sting that, that much afterwards. See, that's me putting stuff away in the shave den drawer. Okay, I think that's it. I think that was, well, there you go. Let's hold these little products up so you can see them. The Wilkinson, I'm gonna hold them all up. Let me put the top back on. So yeah, all in all, I'm very, very pleased. It was, they're not expensive. Uh, they seem to be pretty good. Um, I enjoyed this, that was good. Thanks for joining me, everybody. I always have to do that for a, and then I go into Photoshop sometimes, dig a thumbnail. You don't want to know. It's all inside baseball. You don't want to know how the sausage is made. Do you? No. No. Anyway, so I'll be back on Friday with the review of the One Blade by One Blade. Here it is. Uh, thanks for joining me, everybody. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting. Uh, please let me know what you think. Uh, I read all the comments and I'll leave a little heart to let you know that I read it. And most of the time, I'll, I'll, I'll leave some sort of a snide response. No, please, a nice response. But anyway, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you all at the end of the week on Friday.